Okay, so what is going on everybody? Themster here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to reduce your input delay and then get more FPS in any video game. So like Fortnite, CS2, Apex Legends or any other game that you may be playing right now in 2025. So I will not be using any downloaded software. You will not need to download anything as I've seen other YouTubers push some software to you to download but it's all bloat basically none of them really help you in any meaningful way so these are only windows settings and then some in-game settings that definitely do help and that i use personally for all of my computer builds so the first thing that we will do is disable startup app so just right click anywhere on the taskbar and then click on task manager okay and the task manager it will probably look like this for you so just click on these three lines right here and then go into startup apps Okay, and then in these startup apps, just make sure to disable anything that you are not using. So, uh, basically, these are apps that start up when you start up Windows. So, for example, I know that I definitely do not use, like, a uh, Razer app right here. I don't use this, so I will just disable this. And then disable any other apps that you are not using. So, just look through this list and just disable some apps that you are sure not using. But if you're unsure, just don't touch it, basically. Okay, the next thing we will do is go into our settings and then disable the Xbox Game Bar. So to do this, right click on this uh, Windows icon in here, then click on settings. Okay, then in here, go into gaming, okay, and then the Game Bar. So make sure this is not on, this is off. And this, uh, basically what it does is just, uh, when you start a game, you might notice that there's Xbox Game Bar comes up, so... I would highly uh, recommend to turn this off because it's been known to cause some issues in some games so possibly some issues related to input delay and even I've heard some people crashing in games which this uh, fixed by turning off this game bar. Okay, okay so then in here uh, go into the server bar and then click on type power and then uh, click on this edit power plan. Okay, so once we're in here go into power options okay so once we're in here uh, it will probably be on balance for you so just uh, uh, choose high performance or ultimate performance I would uh, suggest you to test uh, both of these which uh, high like which which give you a higher FPS but for me I get ultimate performance it's the best setting right here so this basically allows your computer to use its whole resources and to not like uh, underclock your uh, processor while in, in game so this uh, definitely results in better fps okay so the next thing that we will do is uh, delete temporary files so uh, click on your keyboard windows plus r key and then this box will pop up so in here type in percent uh, temp percent and then click on ok so in here are basically some temporary files that programs create for a little while that when they are uh, on but once you you know quit out of uh, some program these files are useless basically so and in your computer there might be like uh, hundreds even thousands of files that take up a whole bunch of space like a uh, potentially even to several hundred gigabytes so you definitely want to delete these files because as i've said before they are useless basically after so some time so just uh, uh, click Control a on this so it selects every single file in here and then you can just right click and click on delete and you know as you can see it's, um, this action cannot be completed because uh, some app is open so just uh, click uh, do this for all current items and then click on skip because uh, it basically doesn't allow you to delete some of these files that the apps are still using so just uh, uh, do that and then as you can see your recycle bin is now kind of full so make sure to also empty the recycle bin to completely delete these files okay so now for the in-game settings in this video as an example i'm using fortnite but this works for any other modern game that you want to play right now so uh, you will go into settings and then in here make sure that the window mode is full screen then turn off vsync don't use vsync in any any game because this uh, imp like uh, your input delay will be worse so just don't use this and then the frame rate limit i would highly recommend you to use the frame limit that uh, that your monitor's refresh rate is at 
Oh yeah, really quickly I will show you how to check your refresh rate. So just right click on the windows, go into settings and in here, go to system, display and then go to uh, advanced display and in here the max that you can set it to. So for me it's 240 as it. So my re monitor's refresh rate is at 240 hertz. So I would limit my FPS to 240 FPS because this means that our graphics card and our processor doesn't have to work as hard to get those frame rates because uh, if you get uh, maybe like uh, 360 FPS but uh, your computer, your monitor's refresh rate is only at 144 that you are wasting so much energy on this and yeah 240 hertz for me so I will use 240 FPS. And then another big thing, this is the probably the biggest thing of this whole video, is to use NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. This should be this should be in most of these games right now, so just make sure to on uh, turn it on. Don't use boost because boost increases uh, increases your processor usage and we do not want that. So uh, I've tested it and for me and for most other people as I've seen, on works the best. You can even try boost but I would stick to on. Yeah, so just save these settings and yeah, that's basically it. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.